Oh, I forgot to wash that. Today is Thursday. Uh, I want to say 14th. But anyway, I'm up in the tanka. I bet the wash there. Well, not Ohine and Choni. Pinami Apple, I'm up in the tanka. Jesus said. I bet the gosh, wash there. Well, uh, my name is Royce Gay. My job. Chetan Kota. Royce Gay, my little My Indian name is Greyhawk. It was given to me by my great grandfather. So today, the Hindu drum of the people. I want to sing a song about encouragement, teaching brothers how to have faith. We need to have faith in prayer, you know, so if we have faith in prayer, all our prayers and all our thoughts can be manifested into energy, positive energy, where we could put it in the universe for others who have the same type of prayer. The stronger the prayer, the higher you know, our prayer goes. There used to be a saying, the the higher the dollar amount, the stronger the prayer. <laughs> that was crazy because a lot of people put um, monetary value on prayers. I don't pray for uh, money, I pray from the heart. You know, I pray from the mind. One heart, one mind, you know, so we should always remember that. One heart, one mind, you know. We used to, we used to sing, say that at our Sundays, you know, so. One oyate, one oyate was ye, one heart, one mind, chante was ye. You know, one mind, one heart. You know, we think together. So if we all think together today, my brothers and sisters out there on the red roll, the chunkaluta, we can make our prayers strong. I ask that you pray for your families, each and every one of them, each and every day. You pray when you wake up in the morning, you azilia, with tobacco, which means smut, azilia with uh, cedar, which is sage, or cedar. And you uh, make your chali wa pakja is your tobacco offering. So when you make your prayers in the morning, you be up before the sunrise praying to grandfather that he hears your prayers. But I want to sing the song. It's a, uh, it's a song asking for strength today. I'm not going to sing the whole version. I'm going to sing a couple words for you guys to understand. And, and so you can sing it in the future at home, you know. It goes up. Tungashila washag mayade. Tukashila, give me strength. Tukashila, washag mayaye. When I'm betu, I'm betu gile. Washag mayaye. So I'm saying to Lakota, Tukashila, grandfather, give me strength. I'm betu gile. Give me strength for on this day. You know, so today, give me strength. So when you're praying, you ask grandfather for strength. Oh, In the ceremonies, the sun dance, this song, they sing for strength. And so today, my brothers, remember this song, remember this video every day. When you wake up, you want to pray and ask to God to give you strength. God, give me the strength to walk this red road. No, to Gashla, when I was Shagma, oh, Huala Mani, Chankuluta. So you're asking God you know, to give me the strength to walk this red road and help you pray for your people. You know, I'm a sun dancer. I've been on a red road, you know, for a number of years. And today, I've um, I've been, you know, 
thoughtful and mindful to pray for my brothers and sisters out there. Every morning I wake up, you know, I pray that to God, so like, here's our prayers and watches over us, you know, and uh, grants us the wishes that we pray for. You know, your prayers are strong out there, people. If you pray for whatever you pray for, you shall receive. Don't be careful because you will get what you ask for when you have a sincere heart. So today, think about the good things in your life that you want to reflect upon. Your sobriety, your well sobriety, and the fact that you're healthy. Your body is healthy, your mind is strong, and your heart has faith that the Creator up there in the sky watches over us each and every day. So say your prayers of thanks, burn your cedar, your smudge, um, say your, your prayers, and offer tobacco, and even water, a little bit of food. Every day I, speak, I feed my spirit because I have a spirit that watches over me, my own spirit, myself, and the spirit helpers that I have that are able to hear my prayers. So therefore, I'm able to pray for a lot of people. Pray for the California people out there that they get a lot of rain, you know. Pray for the people in the East, you know, that they don't get a lot of rain, you know, because you're getting floods out there. Pray for the brothers and sisters in the South who are getting tornadoes. Pray that Omaka, her healing has begun, you know. A great cleansing. She's cleansing herself, my brothers. So we need to make prayer offerings and tithes and, and give something, you know, flesh offering. You know, Sundance season's coming. So make your prayers, brother, and think about today. We're here. We're thankful because we have Mother Earth, you know. Um, she's here and she's alive. She's making it heard that she needs to be taken care of, you know. So we have to feed our spirits too, you know. Don't forget them spirits, them nuggies, them spirits, them nuggies. So my brothers and sisters, thank you today for listening to me and viewing my website, you know, old seven three native Indian Gmail dot com. You know, feel free, man. You know, I'm trying to get this thing up and running. Where we're working on it, we are doing a documentary on teen suicide. But right now, I'm trying to get resources together so we can have a youth group on my reservation in Wombly, South Dakota, where we can have uh, all these kids come in and teach them the culture, the Lakota, the values, um, the seven Lakota values, the culture. We can do hunkla stories. We can do, you know, um, teaching these kids how our ancestors survived off the buffalo. Also, we're trying to get a buffalo kill started so we can show these kids the importance of buffalo, what buffalo were to us back in the day, how we depended upon the buffalo as our only source of, you know, Food, clothing, um, shelter, roof over our head, tools, everything we needed was in that buffalo to sustain us. And today we don't have that. We have junk food, we have sodas, we have uh, candy, gum, stuff that are materialistic, things that are made. But we don't have the proteins, the essential foods from Mother Earth. And also Mother Earth, we're losing touch with our balance in nature. You know, in balance and harmony with Mother Nature. So if you can help me today, brothers, you know, give some input, some insight. You know, go to Facebook, go to YouTube, you know, talk about let's get this together up and running. We need to teach our children for the next seven generations. We are here. It's time. You know, I'm not a medicine man. I don't need Jerry Chasha. You know, I make my prayers for the people. I'm a sun dancer. You know, okay, well, now, took, I stuff, took my legs for a little bit. You know, it's teaching me a lesson to get grounded. I won't be walking again, brothers. You know, I'm doing it right now. I use my walker to just roll later. My leg is strong on the left side, but my right is, there's nothing there, man. But, you know, it's better to have a three-legged dog than to have no dog at all, right? <laughs> but anyway, that's the wisdom and the words and teachings of today, brothers. So say something nice today, you know, to your family, your loved ones, your special people out there. You're a significant other, you know, tell them they're beautiful. Thank you for this breath of life that Tukashla has given us. You know, so my brothers and sisters out there, be prayerful and thank Mother Earth. You know that we're here today. We talk with it. We I said, "Hatch it to all."